hello and welcome back guys to the channel and on today's video guys we're basically going to be talking about the concept of liquidity um with that being said i'm basically going to be um, explaining to you about these three main types of liquidity that i see is the most important for um, a trader to understand it right which is um, the swing high and the swing low liquidity right here um the range liquidity right here and finally the trend line liquidity right here so i'm basically going to start with a theoretical explanation and then we're going to um, go to the charts right and see uh, how this liquidity can be spotted and how it works but before we get into it um something that you should always know is that liquidity um liquidity is everywhere in the market right liquidity is something that constantly happens in and out every single time right so as a trader you should uh it's very important to know um the types of liquidity and what how do they work and what do they indicate um in the charts so by starting we're going to start with the swing high and swing low liquidity now this is the type of liquidity that basically uh, exists above and below each swing high and swing low uh, respectively so we know that when a trend is being formed like um example um the bullish trend right we're gonna have price making a series of highs and lows right these highs right here and these lows right here right meaning what um this simply means that uh price from here bought and then created this high now from this high right price sold right so that's the concept of um supply and demand right so that's the that's just the simple concept of supply and demand because we always have demand right which pushes um which pushes orders right to, to the which pushes price to the top side and uh supply which pushes price back down um to the downside so there's simply constant forces of supply and demand operating in the market that's why we have a progressive formation of highs and lows now with that being said um let's go back and um okay so let's just do this uh let me clear these all right so from there we know that um price from here bought and when price made this high then supply came into the market and then price sold meaning what when they sold here they had their stops um let me clear these um in the process of the selling here right the sellers sold and their stops were just placed be, uh, above that high so when price comes in and forms this low right price comes in fails to break uh this low right here and creates um a higher low right so from this higher low we know that um price is going to give us a confirmation to go bullish and from here we're going to target what this buy side liquidity right here because when sellers sold in here they placed the stops above the high so that's why we call it a swing high and swing low liquidity same concept applies to here right when bias or when demand comes into into play right buyers are going to buy from here and they're going to place um let me remove these pretty quick and they're going to place the orders below this low right hence this low will then exist as a what um as future uh liquidity area in which um the concept of the Elliott wave theory comes to explain why price does this sort of liquidations over time and then continues with the trend so this is simply a play of liquidity grab from previous swing highs and swing lows so that's the basic concept that there is on this um, swing high and swing low liquidity now coming to the uh, second type of liquidity so this is pretty much um so this is pretty much liquidity type number one right and now we're going to come to the second type um, of liquidity which is um, the range liquidity now uh, what is the range liquidity and how does it work right so when the market is ranging or consolidating right it's basically ranging between a high and a low right forming um, constant internal highs and lows now the, when this is being done price is simply um price is simply creating liquidity on both sides of the market why because sellers are selling with within all these tops right here and buyers are buying with all these bottoms right here right meaning what we have we have uh, sell side liquidity here and we have buy side liquidity here because people who sell here are going to place their stops on top on top of this um, range and people who buy here are going to place um, their stops below this range hence um, comes this move into play um, this move right here right so we're going to have this range here building for 
a certain period of time it may be short it may be long depends on the market conditions and the time frame right and then we're going to have a liquidation of this range either from i mean the liquidation can occur from um can occur at any side first and then the other side second why because we have liquidity we have um buy side liquidity here and sell side liquidity here so uh, on this case of a bullish scenario, the price is going to come first and take the sell side liquidity right here and then have a very strong push to the top side to take this buy side liquidity before it could continue with its trend. Right, so this is how the, uh, the range or the consolidation kind of um, liquidity works. And finally is the third type of liquidity, which is the trend line liquidity. So as we know, right, when the market is moving in a certain trend, it makes um, constant highs and lows right and these highs and lows present themselves in an, in an order of a trend which indicates what a trend line liquidity hence from the Elliott wave theory um, we know that price could be moving in a certain direction and then have this kind of move right here right when price makes a low and then I mean I beg your pardon when price makes a low comes up um, breaks um, the previous high and creates a new higher high and from here since we have this trend line liquidity right here building up for a very long period of time meaning what there is stacks of sell side liquidity loaded in here hence the big boys come into the market and make this very uh, strong bearish push to take this sell side liquidity and then the market from here could now continue back to its uptrend as um as it is so that's the basic uh, theoretical explanations on how um on how this liquidity uh, work so from here we can now just delete these and we can now go back to the charts and see how the actual charts um, present themselves of course it's going to be a little bit crazier because actual price action doesn't move um, in exact theoretical manner as this picture perfect drawings now let's go into the chart so this is the pound usd on the 30 minute time frame and this is a pretty much uh, so uh, from here price made um, so price made this high right here and then this low right here breaking um breaking this structural point right here breaking this previous low hence this is what this is a break of structure to the downside so from that being a break of structure uh now we know that price will uh more probably than not make its way back towards uh, an area of supply right where it's going to mitigate that supply to collect more orders now um to the downside and targeting this low as its next liquidity run now from here let's look inside and see what price does right so um when price now starts to build um this pullback look at what price does right price starts breaking highs right price starts breaking highs and creating lows lows which what lows which then stand as what boom right there so this is what we called um that trend line liquidity right okay sorry this is supposed to be um, liquidity right so this is the trend line liquidity that we were talking about right that price is constantly making highs and lows right highs and lows right highs and lows right so this is a constant formation of highs and lows which then what uh so price comes up comes down and takes out all what all price comes um so let's see uh if price did take out this low or it did not Boom. So price didn't take out this low, but it took out all these lows here. Meaning what? This trend line liquidity right here is pretty much collected, but not all of it. Why? Because there's still uh, some more liquidity resting um, within here. Why? Because when we look at it, um, price created this uh, this high, right? This high is pretty much standing in the middle of nowhere, right? Because we we haven't yet uh, mitigated our supply. So this high itself stands as what? As liquidity. That's one, right? As we were saying that this is the type of the um, swing high and swing low liquidity right so market creates this swing high hence there's a there's liquidity here because people who sold in here have their stops above this high hence that's a swing high liquidity um so from this uh so let's mark it very nicely and present it as um as liquidity right and this one uh let's return this right here there um liquidity right boom okay so price comes down um and then and then there's what it starts to build up another form of liquidity again right as it's making its way to target this liquidity up here right as i say that liquidity exists everywhere in the market right you just have to know which liquidity is going to be taken first 
hence uh, you're going to find your way uh, throughout uh, knowing the um, price direction so from price making up this um, making this up move here right price end up ends up uh, creating what another form of liquidity right here which is a what uh, which is also um, a trend line liquidity right here um, just below this wicks boom right so we have another trend line liquidity right here and as price takes out this liquidity and mitigates this supply now we know that okay price is pretty much ready to go uh, to go back bearish hence we only need to find um, our area of supply right our area of supply right there that price comes up mitigates and then moves down now within moving down look at what price does right price creates this beautiful form of range liquidity right here as I was saying uh, before right so this this all this is pretty much um, range liquidity right here right so we've we've seen the swing high and swing low liquidity right here with the swing high that comes and gets taken we've seen the trendline liquidity there right and we've also seen the trendline liquidity here and now we're seeing this form of range liquidity now as i said before that price is basically uh creating liquidity here and here right price is building up orders in both sides of the market hence price comes up breaks and takes the buy side liquidity first and then accumulates leaves us an entry perfect news entry and boom comes out and takes out the sell side liquidity as well as the trend line liquidity and the overall swing low liquidity right here right so that's how that's the beauty of of liquidity guys so if you understand liquidity it's pretty much very simple for you to know uh, where the market is going to go next based on liquidity right you know that price is taking this liquidity and it's going to take that liquidity in due time hence um, the price direction becomes pretty much clearer than uh, than you could ever think so with that being said guys um i hope this video was very educative to you and if it was then make sure you you like the video um of course subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and until the next one guys stay safe um have a nice trading week and of course peace out